Mayor Bill de Blasio has approved the $14 billion Green New Deal put forward by the plant-based overlords to combat climate change. One aspect of this plan is cutting purchases of red meat by 50% in city-controlled facilities, such as hospitals, schools, correctional facilities. This builds off of the Meatless Mondays that was adopted in 2017. What's next? Give them a handshake and they will try to rip the whole right half of your body off. I guarantee you we won't see any improvement in the health of any of these people in these facilities. You would think if you cut red meat consumption, which is supposedly one of the worst things for you, that people would get healthier. It's interesting how the government shoves health information down people's throats, yet everyone is still sick, unhealthy, and unhappy. I can't imagine anyone waking up to this nonsense. People are in such a fog, it's never going to happen. It's always complete bullshit. Regardless of how much meat people remove from their diet, the blame will always be on whatever remaining percent of meat is left in the diet from animal foods. Doesn't matter if you have turkey once a year on Thanksgiving or a bite of chicken every Friday, they will still blame your health issues on that one underlying factor. And after a few years of being on a plant-based diet, maybe less depending on your genes, you're going to look like your face is peeling off and you'll have a plant-based mold demon growing in your small intestine. But guess what they're going to say? Oh, you didn't do the diet right. You know what else they'll lie to you about? The environment. In a tweet last week, Mayor Bill de Blasio said that livestock farming produces 20 to 50 percent of greenhouse gas emissions. That's why they demanded Meatless Mondays. Saving our planet is about saving their future. Imagine if people actually knew that climate change was perfectly normal, that the earth cools and warms regularly, that regardless of what man does, the climate can change drastically over several dozen years. But hey, PETA, aka People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, reports that meat consumption must decrease as much as 90% for us to avoid the most catastrophic events of climate change. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Let's listen to the corpses that are the founders of PETA. Now, in that tweet from Mr. de Blasio, don't you think 20 to 50% of emissions is a pretty large range? Isn't that much of a discrepancy something that should be accounted for? 20 to 50% of greenhouse gas emissions? Like, we can't be a little more accurate than that? That's Almost a threefold variance, buddy boy. You don't sound too confident. And as much as I am inclined to believe that people have good intentions, if you care about the future of anything, why did you waste nearly $2 billion of taxpayer money? Those suits sure are nice, slim fit, tailored, and for his big ass frame, it's a lot of cloth. But still, a closet full of nicely tailored suits to fit Lurch does not add up to $2 billion. If you Google EPA emissions and click the first link, it clearly states agriculture is 9% of greenhouse gas emissions. So can someone please explain to me how cow burps and farts cause 50% of greenhouse gas emissions? This is the biggest bullshit statistic that's pushed by plant-based agenda, animal activists, all these people, whatever you may have it. And it's completely ridiculous that the mayor would tweet a statistic like this. To me, it's just like, Jesus, these people will say anything. Are they really... Do they really have the intention of lying to people to this degree? When you can literally Google something, click the first link, 
and see that total agriculture emissions, including all plant and animal agriculture is 9%, when we actually look at the impact that removing meat from our diet has on the environment, things get a little fishy. Avoiding one flight is actually twice as effective as going vegan, and having one fewer child is 60 times as effective. But they aren't going to say, stop having kids anytime soon. Or will they? Hey, if you go vegan, and you become infertile because of the lack of nutrition in your diet, they don't have to tell you to stop having kids, especially when they're blasting us with 5G radiation in major cities and feeding us Soylent Green. It will come on its own. This is the first step, boys and girls. First, meatless Mondays. Next, hot dogs. Before we know it, we will be living in space capsules and getting injected with soy milk while the left smiles with their rotten teeth farting their brains out on vegan diets. They are literally lying to us, trying to make us believe we are the reason for climate change. I've debunked this in so many of my other videos, which I will link at the end of this one, but if we take a larger look at New York City's Green New Deal, it is scary as hell. It's completely disgusting how the word climate change is thrown into it like this, as if it's a fact that we are causing climate change. I took a look at the executive summary for this program, and in one part they mentioned a holistic approach to nutrition. Clean air and nearby parks. Pretending like being within 50 miles of New York City isn't going to inhibit your lung function. Another part of this one NYC 2050 plan is healthy lives. Guarantee high quality, affordable, and accessible health care for New Yorkers, aka getting pumped full of drugs and antibiotics, advance equity by addressing the health and mental health needs of all communities, aka stealing more taxpayer dollars, possibly putting more people in jail for smoking marijuana, make healthy lifestyles easier in all neighborhoods, aka open a park where you can breathe polluted air with a few GMO trees. Design a physical environment that creates the conditions for health and well-being, aka you can be just as unhealthy as everyone else. On a serious note, the expansion of healthy food choices is focused on fruits and vegetables, replacing meat with healthier proteins including an increase in plant-based options. They also want to focus on reducing risk factors for heart disease and cancer by limiting access to sugar, aka still giving you poison, just less of it. The wealthy are eating caviar that has been flown in halfway across the world from the Caspian Sea and raw sashimi shipped from Japan at some of the most expensive restaurants in the world, yet they demonize animal foods and we believe them. It's like, you can't make this stuff up. They are doubling down on the bullshit they have been peddling for dozens of years, repackaging it into this plant-based is good for you nonsense. And what's most likely going to happen is this new society is going to work. People do not care. I'd be surprised if anyone else read this executive summary. I only scanned through it myself. This whole proposal is comical. It shows how out of touch with reality the government is how little people care, and really just going around their day like mindless zombies. I don't understand why they have to take it a step further. Like, aren't, aren't these people in power already happy with how unhealthy and unhappy we are in society? No, they just keep going and going and going. At the end of the day, it boils down to one thing, selfishness. The elites are selfish, and people are selfish. Everyone on this planet is. It's an innate biological mechanism built into us for survival. Most people seem pretty content 
with their nine to five paychecks, going home to their family every day. What people don't realize is even that simple and sometimes miserable family life won't be a possibility in the future. Whether that's because of the atrazine in the water turning us all female or the government taking it a step further, who knows? I mean, it could be, you know, you have to understand these new immigration policies, what they're trying to have is bring in people from less fortunate countries. And yes, on one hand, these people are likely getting better lives than they did in their other countries, but the quality of life that these people are willing to live under is substantially lower than what people expect now. If we don't put our foot down and fight against this rat shit, we likely will never have the chance to. A, a lot of people that promote these Democrats and people like Bernie Sanders don't understand what socialism actually is. People look at their lives and think that they're a little bit unhappy or they can't get a job or they can't do this or they can't do that. And instead of bettering themselves and trying to improve their own life and working harder and using that as motivation, they whine and they moan and they complain about what other people have. Hey, <laughs> tough shit, man. I spend just about every second of every day trying to become a better and more successful version of myself. People with this type of attitude don't really have time to focus on other people, especially negative things or, or bringing people down. It, it disheartens me a little bit to, and I, of course I know how, you know, terrible some people are and the things they're willing to do and say to harm other people in their interest. And that's part of the reason I'm making this video. The, these things that these people say, you don't want to think about what they're saying to you. You want to think about what's the most extreme version of what they're going to say. When they say, oh, meatless Mondays, or oh, we're just going to cut down hot dog consumption a little bit over the next 30 years. No, what they really want to do is give animals rights and put you in jail if you harm an animal. That's literally what they want to do. They want you to be starving, malnourished, emaciated, being blasted with EMF radiation, can't string more than three words together at once. That is what they want. They want you to be a mindless, walking zombie. And whether PETA is a real organization and actually cares about animal rights doesn't really matter. What matters is the end result and what they are looking at doing to people. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button and share the video if you can. If you would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. I did recently launch Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal being to provide you guys with high quality nutrient dense animal foods. So if you would like to order some grass fed meat, some salmon roe, some very, very nutrient dense foods like liver, uh, you can check out the website frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Really looking forward to the products I'm bringing you guys in the future. I know a lot of you have asked for things like raw dairy, uh, pastured pork, pastured chicken. Guys, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time and how much support uh, you guys give us uh, in the immediate future. Again, guys, frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Right now, we have discounts on subscription boxes as well as overall discounts for certain order amounts. You guys enjoy the rest of the week.